Jeff, an operator at Bayer Crop Science, heard a revenue heater high pressure on the road. The pressure in a vessel had risen dangerously. Due to vent pipeline, he radioed two outside operators to check the pipe and set the vessel cooling system to full. But the runaway reaction cannot be controlled. The residue treatment vessel ruptured and thousands of gallons of flammable and toxic materials sprayed in all directions. Debris hit but did not rupture a tank holding methyl isocyanate, the chemical responsible for killing thousands in the Bhopal, India disaster. sent to check the vessel dock, and eight others were injured. During the investigation that followed this incident in West Virginia in 2008, the Chemical Safety Board uncovered serious and intentional safety and procedural violations. After the Bhopal disaster in 1984, the U.S. Congress and other world regulatory bodies passed new laws to increase chemical emergency preparedness. The laws require companies handling certain chemicals to develop process safety and risk management programs. While these laws were implemented in the early 1990s, serious chemical accidents still happened. This timeline shows just a few. My name is Frank. I own a small business that produces broad spectrum pesticides containing the chemical methyl mercaptan. Of course, I want my company to be successful, but my kids and my neighbor's kids go to school here. I live here, and like you, I care about my community. Our facility follows the process safety management standard for the safe use of highly hazardous chemicals, and we actively encourage safety at the plant. You might say we've developed a culture of safety that protects workers and the community. Management, or PSM, is a comprehensive risk-based approach aimed at protecting employees by preventing unwanted and unexpected releases of highly hazardous chemicals in the workplace. Process safety management standards affect companies like mine with processes that involve chemicals above specified threshold quantities. In other words, quantities that have the potential for catastrophic consequences due to their explosive or toxic properties. And it also affects companies with flammable liquid or gas in quantities of 10,000 pounds or more in one location on site. There are exceptions to the PSM standard for certain chemical and business situations. Select the link to learn more. Coal and business situations are hydrocarbon fuels used solely for workplace consumption as a fuel. For example, propane used for comfort heating and gasoline used for vehicle refueling. Hydrocarbon fuels that are not part of a process containing another highly hazardous chemical covered by the standard. Flammable liquids stored in atmospheric tanks that remain below their normal boiling point without refrigeration. Certain retail facilities, oil or gas well drilling or servicing operations, or normally unoccupied remote facilities. The PSM standard identifies four principal causes for the release of hazardous chemicals. Select each one for further explanation and examples. Technology faults involve equipment that is inadequately designed, installed, programmed, or maintained. Examples are improper calibration of a pressure or temperature gauge, the failure of an automated valve to open or close, and a remote monitor or sensor failure on a leak detection system. Human errors are mistakes that workers might make while doing a job. More than just flipping the wrong switch, there are usually underlying causes for human error, including inadequate process and procedural training poor verbal or written communications between workers or the control system interface, improper sequencing of tasks, shortcuts, resulting in undue risk-taking for the purpose of maintaining schedule and budget, a work environment in which employees are afraid to speak out about safety concerns and mental and physical fatigue. Forgetting to lock and tag out a piece of equipment is an example of human error the underlying causes of which could be inadequate training or poor verbal or written communications between workers. Management system faults result when personnel in positions of authority do not follow process safety management standards properly. Examples of management faults that produce risk are a management-led PHA that is poorly performed, 
a management coordinated process modification that is not in accordance with management of change. Management that does not hold personnel accountable for performance and execution of protocols. And management that does not ensure that processes are properly planned, executed, checked, and corrected as needed. External circumstances and natural phenomenon or conditions that exist because of an occurrence outside the control of the business. These may include, for example, the destruction of plant facilities due to tornado, flood, or fire, terrorism, sabotage, or vandalism, and labor disputes. The safety management program is the mechanism by which businesses implement PSM standards. When properly implemented by a company that emphasizes a culture of safety in the workplace, PSM is highly effective. Program requirements address certain types of chemicals, equipment, processing, and operation and maintenance. Here are the 14 components of a process safety management program. Notice that a culture of safety binds them together. Select each component for a brief description.